well this here is the all new hyundai kona hyundai has taken the first mover advantage in the electric car space and this is their all new electric car this really is the future and the future is here in 2019 now in terms of the looks it looks smashing on the outside it looks really fabulous you have to check it out in person to believe the way it looks and uh, the big highlight is the fact that the grill well there's no grill it's all one seamless piece integrated into the bumper you don't get any place over here where you can put your hand in and check if the radiator is leaking or not because this kind of car doesn't use that kind of technology it's an all electric car with over 452 kilometers of range available which means that i can drive it up all the way to chandigarh and all the way back well almost all the way back border to border between delhi and chandigarh and this car will not need a new charge but how is it to drive how is it to sit inside and is it really worth that asking price of about 25 lakh rupees that's what we're here to find out and we'll answer that question today in this review well so let me quickly tell you about the interiors of the car this car really does looks smashing on the outside but interior is also very good high quality all across it is a compact crossover now in terms of the quality all the buttons all the switch gear is fantastic but the beauty about this car is its drivability it is an excellent product to drive because uh, with an electric engine or with electric motor you have instant torque available so the torque is readily there all you need to do is simply press an accelerator pedal and this car is available with all its power and energy and it simply flies there's hardly anything which will stop it or you know make it slow down you can choose from four different driving modes on the car you get the eco mode the eco plus mode the comfort mode as well as the sport mode now all these modes essentially change the engine responsiveness and also help with the regenerative braking on the car in the eco plus mode the engine is only restricted to go up to 90 km per hour and understandably the best mode to use is the sport mode which really feels responsive as well as delivers a lot of power but it delivers the least amount of regenerative braking and will also reduce the overall range on the car so for the highway the eco mode really is the one to go for now even though this car comes with paddle shifters behind the steering wheel what the paddle shifters essentially do is help you with the intensity of the engine braking and yes this car can be driven via only one pedal as well how is that possible well if you lift up your leg from the accelerator pedal it will slow down quite a bit if you decide to pull the left pedal shifter behind the steering wheel and that also helps with the regenerative braking and aids the range even further the best part about the car is it's very agile handling it's a very very agile car it just loves to hug the road and will simply leave you speechless yes it doesn't feel like compact crossover it feels like a proper sporty car and it is a very sporty car as i just said because uh, performance is so good it will simply put a smile on your face every time you take it out for a spin it really is a fantastic car now in terms of ride it does have a slightly stiff edge to its ride but that's quite okay because uh, it is a car which is basically meant for a lot of uh, foreign places it's not a car which is meant for our roads but even then we've got some bumps that we've gone over through and this car has managed to soak them up quite nicely it really does feel very stable and we've done a lot of speeds on uh, this uh, BIC circuit today in excess of 110 1020 and uh, all those speeds have been well managed by this car so it really is a phenomenal car to say the least now talking about the charging of the Kona if you charge it with a 15 amp 3 pin socket it will take you a total of 19 hours to charge the battery completely yes this socket can be put in your home charging socket but it'll take a long time if you of course wish to buy the box the charging box then Hyundai will uh, ask you for 80000 rupees but they'll help you with that faster charger which will make the Kona go from zero charge to 100% charge in just around 6 hours or so which is of course a lot faster but of course remember it costs you about 80000 rupees additionally 